I'll need a team. We're already putting together the best men. With all due respect, sir, so am I. For as iconic as Captain America is in the books, he always had help. He always had people that would follow him in stride. And of course, Bucky, his most famous sidekick, his most famous partner, but there were others. And at the same time that the Cap comics were being published, Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos was being published, these gruff sort of World War II soldiers that got themselves into all sorts of trouble. So we really wanted to pay homage to those other Marvel World War II books by putting some of those characters in it. With the Howling Commandos, they're all individual personalities and they all reflect different sides of, of Cap as a leader. So we had to make sure that we cast actors that lived up to all that. <laughs> Bucky Barnes was a very tricky role to cast because he is the sidekick and it goes from he taking care of Steve to being the other way around. And so much like Steve's transformation in the movie, we were looking for someone that could embody both sides of that character. Who is the good natured guy that looks out for his friend and how can that also be the guy that you don't resent <laughs> later in the film once he's kind of like, hey, what happened to me? I, I used to protect you and now the role's sort of reversed. The way Bucky was written in the earlier comic books is very different than, than how we decided to go with in, in the movie. He was almost like like a Robin to a Cap's Batman. He was young, he was a kid. I think he was put there to add kid appeal to the books in a way that is slightly campy. We didn't want a little kid running around the battlefields of World War II with Captain America necessarily. The good news is, within the last five to 10 years in the Marvel comics, they've kind of reinvented the character. They've given him a bit of maturity and they've brought him back into the present day as a character known as the Winter Soldier. Great storyline, great, great uh, inspiration for us on how to pump up that character. One thing that particularly really drew me to to what I was able to find out about Bucky as the character is that he ended up doing the dirty work. I think that added a very interesting dynamic between his relationship with Steve Rogers. Captain America was always kind of like the symbol and, and the guy that kind of walked away with the spotlight. And, and Bucky was trained to do sort of the, the stuff around the edges. And I really liked that because I thought it added sort of a different edge to him. We're sort of soldiers, but not in any official way, in any official rank. We're sort of secret super soldiers, which means we have the fantastic artistic license to be whatever we want. We have the best gadgets and guns and fun. Oh, it's very exciting. We all seem to represent different people. So Bruno represents the French Resistance, who uh, is pricelessly hilarious. Like a big spaghetti. Constantly wants to know why he's got the smallest gun. The name of the character is Dernier, which means in French, the last. He is a specialist of explosives. I represent French resistance, and I'm very proud to represent that, even if I am not uh, completely French, because I'm a little bit Italian. Vive la France! And then we have Kenny, who's the Japanese, but he's actually American, and he's got the most amazing gadgets ever. The character I play is named Jim Morita. He's a trained army ranger. He's a communications specialist. He's the radio man. My character kind of changed from the comic book mythology to this film adaptation, but the core stuff is there. You know, I was a comic book kid growing up, so being on set, literally running through the forest, shooting my grease gun, and Cap Steve Rogers is, you know, 20 feet from me, it's literally a dream. And then Derek Luke, who's, who's wonderful and the sweetest man possible, he's holding a 30 caliber machine gun strapped to the side and shooting every piece of this set to smithereens. What I like about my character, Gabe Jones, is that Gabe probably was one of the first African American common characters. Stan Lee, who created him, I guess when he first wrote him, created him, the illustrator got the information and thought it was a mistake and filled him in as a white character. Gabriel is a musician. He's an excellent soldier. So that's what I loved about Gabe and getting a chance to play him. Felt like, man, I'm a part of something new. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're, we're in. And then brilliant Neil Donna, who's fantastic, huge. He wins the moustache. He's got an, a living animal on his face. And his is real, too. Yeah, it's sad now. I shaved the mustache off a couple days ago. I missed that mustache because, you know, because that was Dum Dum, and now the mustache is gone. I don't feel like Dum Dum. I feel like I lost 25 pounds. <laughs> Dum Dum Dugan was a circus strongman and uh, was pulled out by Nick Fury. He's one of those big beer drinking, fun kind of guys, but if there's a fight to be had or if a door needs to be busted down or if, or, or if one of the, the hydra guards needs a whooping, uh, you know, he's the guy to do it. And, and I've had a blast playing him. Wow! 
And then me. I play Montgomery Fallsworth. Major Montgomery Fallsworth, I understand. Uh, but Montgomery Fallsworth is probably the most regimented and ranked. From my research, I understand that he goes on to become Union Jack. And he's pretty damn cool. Roger! You might need this! Thanks! Great war movies have sort of these great ensembles. Every scene they're in, they enrich that scene and they give context to Cap. And the notion that Cap is more than just the red, white, and blue of the United States, he represents sort of the strength going into battle and sort of a confidence of being on the right side of, of that conflict. And frankly, Cap looks cool when he's surrounded by these other Howling Commandos, as we call them. It really gives you an opportunity just to view Cap's evolution as a leader through their eyes. And we've really pulled together an amazing crew.